Hi everybody, it's Heather at Little Bird Blythe. Here I'm showing you a dress that I've shown on a previous video. This is one that I made a little while ago and I used some fabric that I printed myself. I designed it using these bird images and I rescaled them in a program called Canva and then I printed them onto the fabric and this is how I did it. This is the first way that you can do it. It's using the freezer paper. That's paper with sort of a plastic coating on it and what you do is iron the paper onto your fabric. You can see I'm using quite a neutral coloured fabric there. It's a cotton sheet um, that I'm using and it's nice and light and it's sort of vintagey. Uh, I actually um, tea dyed some of it <coughs> in order to make it the colour that I wanted it to be. So you iron the freezer paper onto your fabric um, and you can see that there's a shiny side, that's a plastic coated side, and there's a matte side and obviously what you want to do is put the shiny side down onto your fabric and you then iron onto the matte side. Obviously don't put your iron onto the shiny side otherwise you'll just melt it onto your iron. So iron that in place. I pre-cut my um, sheets to the right side, so I use A4. Okay, so the benefits of using freezer paper for this type of project, it's really cheap, it's really easy to use, it's reusable, so you can use it multiple times. Once you've removed it from your fabric project, you can use it, roll it up and then use it again. I use it quite a lot for making patterns for Blythe dolls because it's brilliant, it helps you um, to cut out very small items on fabric. So for this application it stiffens the fabric but then when you have printed on the fabric that's been stiffened you can then just remove the freezer paper and it doesn't leave any residue at all on your fabric. Um, but it is very useful because once it's ironed onto your project you've then got a paper surface that you can draw onto and um, that's really handy if you want to draw your patterns onto it. Now here I'm using heat and bond light because I intend to cut out an image after I've um, printed it on and then I'm going to sew that onto a dress as well. So you iron your heat and bond light onto your fabric. Again I cut my um, little pieces of heat and bond light out onto a size that I actually want to print on and here is an A5 sheet. So you just iron that so it's glue side onto your fabric and then iron the matte side down. Um, and then that stiffens the fabric basically so that you can put it through your printer. And I'll be showing you in a moment uh, it going through. You can see there that the glue has transferred from the paper onto the fabric itself. And that, because it's a light, it will actually sew through. So that's really useful. Okay, so this is very low tech stuff. I'm actually in Canva at the moment and you can see that I've put the dogs onto a sheet. I've actually done it as an A4 sheet, but when I download it, I'll print it off as an A5 sheet. Um, and what I've done is just spread the dogs onto the sheet so that they're spaced enough apart that I can cut around them with a border and then um, that will be easier for me to sew onto my dress. So here we go, I've downloaded it as a PDF. I've changed the paper size to A5 because I'm doing it on a smaller piece of paper or piece of fabric with the um, heat and bond attached and that's now gonna go through the printer. So let's see what happens. Okay, so here I am over at my printer and it's uh, one of the EcoTank type printers, this particular one that I'm using. It's an ET4750 and it's an Epson. And uh, you feed the paper into this drawer at the bottom here and you have to put it um, fabric side down. So excuse me and the very low tech filming here. I'm on my iPad, so I'm just gonna pop it in there and then uh, make sure it goes in the slot. So here we have the item that is printed and luckily it's still stuck. It looks like it's picked up a little bit of ink there possibly from the rollers so it might not be the neatest job but as I'm cutting around these it's not the end of the world anyway and look how beautifully that's printed so there you go it does work 
Okay, so what I'm doing now is just cutting around each of those images. It's on the fabric and it's got the heat and bond backing on it. So all I do is remove the paper and then I can iron that image onto a fabric dress. Now I've used the light version, so I'm going to sew around that as well and possibly add some beads. Here are some other examples that I did. So this is an illustration I did myself and then I added that into Canva and rescaled it. Um, and what you can do is also add your own pattern onto the pictures as well. So these are some little mushrooms that I rescaled. But here I actually, because I'm not great at cutting out circles, I actually did a circle um, so that it was easier to cut out. So you can easily add your own patterns as well. And this is the dress again that I did with the um, bird fabric. Now I will be doing the other dress with the dogs on, uh, so you'll have to wait to see what that one looks like. So thanks for joining me. Take care everyone. Bye!